doing today? Good. All right, well, I'm going to give us a review of last week, Friday, before we all went home. We had did um, addition and subtraction, but we only did it in the ones place. I remember. All right, so today we're going to learn the different place values so that we can add two-digit numbers. Okay. And again, because the letter of the week is P, P is for place value. P, okay. All right, and also the objective today is we will understand place value in the ones and tens place. And if you do well understanding the ones and tens place, we may have time to get to the hundreds or at least start and then you can go home and work with your parents. Okay. Okay, so last week we did numbers such as, April, can you tell me what this is? Five um, plus two. Six, seven. Seven. All right. And we even did subtraction as well, if you remember. So we would do seven minus two. Is that what we did last week to get five? Yes, you can do that as well. And it's all, this is more so like the community property, but we haven't talked about that yet, so I don't want to jump. Okay. So if I did uh, four minus three, what would that be? Four minus four. Three is one. All right, and if I did one plus three, what would that be? Four. All right. So now, these are all numbers that is in the ones place. When it get into the tens place, it'll be two digit numbers, but ones are just one digit numbers. Okay. So I have a little game that will kind of help us before we start to um, put numbers in the um, tens place. So, I have this. So, I'll give this to you. And if you can count that. One, two, how many do I need? Three, four. Can I get another one? This one's stuck. Thank you. Five. Six, six, seven. All right, so I need you to add three to that. Add and three to the seven? Yes, and then let me know what number you have. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now you have ten. And if the zero is in the ones place, ten, how would like how would I write this? How would I write ten on that chart? Yes. I would put the one in the tens and put the zero in the ones. All right. So. <coughs> Do you feel like you understand where, where, the, where the tens place come from on two digit numbers? Yes, because last week we said that nine was the last number and then when you got to 10, then we would talk about it this week. Right, and it will add a place value. Because and we would add a place added. value. All right. Okay, so now that you feel like you mastered the ones, now we're going to master the tens today. Okay. But you seem to be more advanced, so we may get to the hundreds, and then, you know, the thousands next Whoa. week. <laughs> All right, so now that you've got that, we're just going to uh, practice some adding two-digit numbers. Okay. Since you understand adding one digit numbers, we're just gonna build from there. Is that like number 11 and number 12? 11 through 19. Well, two digit number starts at number 10 because you know, and when, when we talked about the base 10 system, how it only goes from one through nine, and then it starts for like base, not base two, but uh, two digit numbers are from 10 to 19. No, from 10 to 99? Yeah, 10 to 99. Okay. I apologize. All right, so we're gonna add some two digit numbers. Okay. For example, if I give you 12 plus seven. Do you wanna come up to the board and do that for me? Um, sure. Um. Two plus seven is nine, and then we 
and take this one and put it down here. Right. So how would you write this on a how would you write that on a place okay. value chart? I would do Which one. place is the one in? The one is in the tenths place. And the nine is in the in the ones place. Good job. Here. Okay. So do you feel like we should just practice adding in the two digit numbers? I'll just um put columns up here and you sit back there and answer and you can use manipulatives to help you in the like with the tens. What number are we going up to today? Today we're just, we're not going to go past um 20. We're just going to do like 11 through 19. We're going to build each week just to make sure everyone has a good understanding. So here are some blocks you can use to add with. But I would like you to use the box to add so you don't have to um, use mental math or, I mean, do it in your head or so should your I fingers. Put, you can use the blocks. So, so you should probably put 10 of them together. Uh -huh. So that would be your 10th place. And whatever number you come up with, like say if we added 15 plus 15 and you got the number 30, then you can use three tens and zero one. So if some, if you at least have some that are ten, okay. I'll give you a minute to. I have ten pieces. I have twenty pieces. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. So if I gave you fifteen <coughs> plus six, uh -huh. how would you do that? Well, fifteen plus six. Yes. Um. That would be 21. 21. Okay, so 5 plus 6 is what? 11. Okay, so I will put a 1 down and then put it on top of the 1 because you have to carry it over. Okay, and then I will add 1 plus 1. Which is 2. And bring the two down. And it goes in the tens place on the chart. The two is in the tens place. Mm -hmm. So you know that you have. And the one is. One the is ones. in the ones place. All right. Good. April, you are doing so good. So does that mean that there are twenty ones? That means there there are two tens uh -huh. and one single back cell. Okay. So. There are 20, or it could be 21 ones, as in 21 singles, uh -huh. but if we're going to, uh, it'd be easier to use um, use those manipulatives and tens, where you just have two tens uh -huh. and one single. Okay. You understand? I do. All right. So now <coughs> I have a worksheet for you, and basically you need to build off tens and ones. And after you build with the letter A that your name starts with for April, you will write, um, well, you will write what your name starts with, and you will write how many tens and how many ones you use, and then let me know all together how many you came up with. And then when you're done, you can come up to the front and show the class. So I'll give you about one minute to do that while I come up with one minute for you to do. Okay. Yes, because you've been doing very well, so it shouldn't be long or shouldn't be hard okay. for you to get this done. I think I'm ready. And this will be based on what we do next if you let me know that you understood this. So I I used so these are the tens. And these are the ones. So my name yes. starts with the A. And I used two tens and Six ones because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. You're twenty six pieces in this letter A. So in all, I have twenty six. All right, so do you want to come up here and show the class? Okay. Bring your worksheet so you can show. Do I need the blocks too? No, you don't need the blocks. You can just you you can just point to show what you have. Okay. So right here I have the letter A for my name and I used 26 letters for my name. So, if I was to put that in a chart like this one, I would use 
two tens, two tens, and I would use six ones because it was twenty six letters in my in in the letter A. Twenty six twenty six blocks in the in the letter A, which you can see here on the paper. So you use two tens and six ones. So you use ten here. Uh huh. So you use two sets of ten. You use ten here, and to cross the A, you use you need a six ones to cross the A. Yes. Okay. That is definitely correct. Thank, Thank you. you, April. Thank you. Do I turn it in? Yes. All right. <coughs> All right. So the next thing is, since we're talking about uh, two-digit numbers, which are numbers in the teens, such as. Um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Here's another worksheet because I want to definitely make sure that you get it. So, for example, if you have the number 14, first you'll write your name. And if you have the number 14, you're going to build it. So, 14 would be 1 tens and 4 ones. You will color 14 in. You would write 14. You would draw 14, like uh, shade in 14 of these. You would shade in 14 here. You'll just familiarize yourself with two digit numbers and numbers that are in the 10. <coughs> so you can do this at home. I'll send a letter home with your parent as well as to what we did. So another example, and then when you're done, you'll add it because 10 plus what equals 14 if 14 was your number? Okay. 10 plus 11, 12, 13, 14. So you would do 10 plus 4 equals 14 because 14 is the number. So whatever your number is, but I'm going to assign you the number 17. Okay. So 17 is what you need to do with your mom tonight. And then we'll come back and discuss more. But do you feel like you understand the um, two-digit numbers, the ones and the tens place value? Yes. Okay, so if I added a number, do you do you know what place value comes next after the ones, tens? Do you know what is next for three-digit numbers? Well, a hundred. Is it is it a hundred? Yes, you are correct. Okay. So, for example, if I added the number three to the hundreds place, this would be three hundred. Two tens, which is 20, and six ones would be, we would say that all together as 326. Yes. Okay, so I'll do another one, and I won't help you, but I think you have it. So, is it lunchtime yet? Almost, April. One more minute, and we'll be finished. Okay. All right. What would, what would this number be? Um, five ones. Nine tens and four hundreds. Yeah. So, in the base ten blocks, you would say, yeah, you would say that right. As, so, how would you say it? Four hundred and ninety-five. Right, because you have four hundreds, nine tens, and five singles. Okay. Right. So, just one example, and then I think we'll go. But I think we can add numbers. I think we can add three numbers. Since you understand the ones, tens, and hundreds place value. Okay. So we'll do one and then we'll be done and I'll make sure I have that for your mother and your homework. And then the next time we come to class, we will continue adding on to place value. And once I understand that you mastered the hundreds, we may go ahead and go to the thousands. Okay. The next time. So we'll just add one one number in the um, all three in the hundreds place. So I'll give you 123 plus 527. All right, and we'll do this together. So 3 plus 7. 10. Carry the 1. 2 plus 4. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And then 5 plus 1 is 6. So how would you say this? 650. Because you have 600. Five tens and zero, and zero ones. ones. Good job, April. Thank you for your time today. It is definitely time to go to lunch, so pack yourself up, clear your desk off, and you can go to lunch now. Thank you.